Hey everybody, welcome back. The spirit gazes upon his future. This iron falcon gate looks pretty solid, my dudes. Look at this stuff. We can switch it for the first two, three. And then who knows? It's beautiful anyway. We're going in. I should, uh, you know, give it for a mental note for myself. Hold on. <laughs> Got this froggy voice in the morning, man. It's not like you wake up singing and then, like, you know, let's do some commentary. It's a season for uh, weather change and all that good stuff, so, you know. Caffeine is not necessarily the ultimate voice smoother. Oh my goodness. Clicked on the wrong thing. Alright, so what are we doing? Escape, please. First off, let's turn that off. Because I keep. <laughs> I keep having to like auto turn it off anyway, so no no. L is for loadout. There we go. We have a switch loadout somewhere in here. Just out of a uh, you know sheer ease, um, we can give you a quick draw, and then I can give myself my my most beautiful creation. You can costume the shield, but dude, it just looks so good. Should we be like the ancient rock gunner type person? What do we got here? There we go. Man, we just look freaking bored. Oh, that's so awful. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go the gray basic. Let's do this. Okay, beautiful. Are we attractive? No. Effective? Sort of. This yet to be seen, I guess. So, our, our mission and quest is is we're just kind of getting gradients and crowns and trying to build ourselves up for the future. The potential is uh, we need a Blitz, we need an Akron. I want to get our Graviton Bomb to level 5, and we want to eventually tackle the, uh, you know, the ever-present uh, Shadow Layers, which are coming up. Because you never know what else might be coming up. And suddenly they'll uh, they'll they'll sneak attack a uh... oh hello they'll sneak attack a uh... oh come on Java let's do this uh, treasure trove update in there without even without telling you oh, Java's getting the kinks out again we, we all know how this works first first match of the day it's not like I warm up with uh, Java stretches or anything before uh, before we start playing Get to see the warm up from my my old computer that I've still been playing on since. Oh, I'm gonna help him. Since this game came out. There we go. No, I, I gotta take that back. We do have. We did have an upgrade. Dude, I forgot how awesome this music was. But was. Well, we had an upgrade. It wasn't much of one, but it was one, so I can't say we, we never have. Um, I think our resources are just committed a little bit differently. Think about, uh, I just got an email on my other, on my laptop, which is, you know, older than this. But it's old enough to play movies, so I have it uh, set up downstairs on the big screen surround sound system. So we play, like, the last one I played was, like, John Wick 3. So it's old enough to do that. I mean, it's competent enough to do that, I can say it that way. But we got a message saying that Windows will no longer be supported. Windows 7, that is. Which is kind of a travesty. If you think about it, Mike, your help is needed. You know, I'm, I'm Windows 7, it was probably the most um, easily, for those of you that were into computers, that can uh, program just a little bit. It's probably the most uh, easily, let me do that, okay, um, modifiable. going over here man I don't play this level too much so I want to like enjoy it I know we probably through a uh, time versus a uh, money concept right it's probably not even worth it to do anything but just go right to the exit dude we got Chris strife
What is his name? Pimp. Pimp Canisys. <laughs> Beautiful character. All right. Switch shooting is it's okay. It's not the most uh yeah, obviously the most effective way of uh going through this game would be I think just combustor charging. But that's not fun. Let's get rid of three of those. Guys, a swift stretch. Is are you single shooting, Chris? Probably. I've never uh, risen that level of ascension. So perhaps I Whoop. Oh my goodness. Thank you, more elites. Dude! Wow, another eternal! Do you, can you ever get elite orbs from this depth? I don't think so. But thank you. Anyway. Dude, I gotta, now we gotta change our hat. What, what was I doing? I'm dressing myself in such an atrocious outfit. It's totally my bad. I don't have the white version of that. Maybe we should just buy ourselves like a uh, the the gunslinger cap, just so we we look like a cool guy. My wife was watching. So on Sundays, yesterday was Sunday. We uh we usually have this thing where it's it's, it's a Bible show day, or either Bible show day or no tech day, one or the other, because we keep it lighthearted, regardless of your theology theological beliefs. Um, the the idea for any relig religion is to make yourself better. So. And one thing about tech that, that I've engaged at by reading is that it uh, it really bypasses. Oh, we just look so much prettier. It it bypasses your brain's ability to reason. Um, I have this book specifically on this topic called. Uh, oh my god, what is it? Oh, it's called Connected. I'm gonna go get it. I could get it and read it a little bit. Disconnected, that's it. Where the whole concept is... Oop, that was fire. Oh, there was an enemy on. The whole concept is... Um, when They, they did exper not experiments, right? But they... They studied children who were actually exposed to too much tech. Like a six to eight... Hello, cat. Six to eight hours a day. And they... Uh, ooh, oh, man, he, he's dressed in his dark gear as well, Mike threading the needle as you always do and they discover that like what what, what happens is you're uh, you have the ability to your, your mind and body can you just settle this is this is just a little distracting your mind the the front frontal lobe like kind of gets pushed by the wayside so you actually do not reason and, and you, um, it goes toward uh, you start thinking about so let's think about the carnal, right? Your responses, your uh, non-thinking reactions to things. Anger, uh, constant gluttony, lust. Basically, like the uh, like the seven deadly sins kind of come to mind. Envy, where you can't, you don't really, you could reason your way out of it, but you might choose not to. So anger's a big one, right? And I can see this with like the and they and they cascade because then you have the. Uh, you have single parenthood, right? So, you have uh, what do you what do you do if you're a single parent? Oh my goodness! You want to pacify your kids, so you get that that break. Because my wife and I were talking about ooh, talking about this the other day, about how teachable moments and how they just appear to kids like suddenly, suddenly a teachable moment, and how tough it is for just us as two parents, even though we're doing chores and everything else around the house, to see those teachable moments. And do I know capitalize on them? You know, kids learn faster when you catch them at the moment. I took my daughter for a walk. I could have been doing three thousand other things, but you know. And I, I told myself I'm going to enjoy this walk because this is us bonding. And and in the future we will be able to relate to each other more because we have shared experiences. And that's me rationalizing, right? And I can I can my heart can follow that kind of that kind of movement. But what happens if you uh if you do if you have if you don't have that mindset? And you say, this child is just an inconvenience to me. I am playing my game. You know, carnally, your mind just goes, I'm doing this. You're preventing me from doing this. Therefore, negative reaction. 
you know, but in reality, like, the kid themselves, or that's what's valuable. The next generation. Um, but, you know, the, you know, also Cascades 5, I think what Spengler said, the, when every, when the generation finally comes to the conclusion that there is nothing after me, I matter, I am val valued, I am the end. They're basically, it's self-proclaiming, I've, I've said that a couple of times already, but, like, all this stuff kind of cascades into the worldview, the, um, that things are not as they should be, right? In the Christian perspective, we would call this original sin. You know, strangely enough, it's the, uh, one of the shockers to me was that the, even though the, the Muslims believe the, the Talmud and the, uh, the Torah, which says original sin is there, oh. At the same time, they, they deny it altogether. They think people are inherently good. If you look at any corrupt, mul well, any Muslim culture in general, they, this is, is pretty false. Um, one of the reasons, I, you go to uh, Mecca, and you see the, the corruption in the city itself. I'm, not, I'm trying to help. I did help. Oh, he's a little puppy. They don't say, uh, the, the philosophy behind going to Mecca with that stone and everything is that, you know, Somewhere in there, one person whose hand is on the stone, God will hear his prayers. And if he hears his prayers, it's like hearing the prayers of a, of a, of a million Muslims. It's, it's highly, highly work-based. But it, it's interesting, they say they don't uh, believe in a book. They, they don't believe in a concept that's in the book they believe in. It's just like an offshoot. Muslim theology is very interesting. God is untouchable and unknowable. He's so distant from us. Yet he created us, so he has his hands in us, so he should be able to know us, if anything. So, you know, and the whole Christian answer to this, um, which is in history and theology and archaeology, archaeology, I would argue, is a, the person of Christ. A singularity that transcends us put, puts a way to communicate to us in time, and that is the Son. Kabam! Good morning, theology, anyway. It sounds like someone's banging on the bongo drums like every time I hear that. Thank you, gentlemen, for taking care of biz. Oh my goodness. I have really gotta invest in like there's this computer. This has gotta function a lot better than it does. There's gotta be something going on here. Okay. At least my shield can take two shots as opposed to one. Two shots and then a shatter. As opposed to one shot and a shatter. I think. Where'd you go? Oh, you went to the north, alright. Alrighty. Yeah. Oh, it's chemistry. <laughs> I guess my cat gave up. It's like, you're not gonna give me 24 7 pets? Well, you know what? I'm leaving. My pre you are not good enough for my presence. Good job, Khan the Destroyer. You're gonna get what you want if you're not here to get it. Kabam! All you people watching this video wondering, wondering why you're not millionaires like myself. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, if you don't, you at least gotta start working for it. You know, the, uh, where's, it gonna, where's the uh, the monetary value going to come from, Mike? Where, help me out here. Stars and stripes? Absolutely. One thing that always got me was the, uh, as far as work eth ethic and value, the the European system of thought. Ah, I thought that would break him again. Which, by the way, socialism is already already tried. You Americans have believed in a, a democratic Bernie Sanders type of republic. What, or or uh, Kamala Harris, who think that we should give a wealth tax to the billionaires in this country. You know what happened when they did that in France? This is why this like this stuff is just straight up a blatant ignorance of history. I think it was like 4,200 millionaires just left France. Because <laughs> it turns out that when people have money, they got money to move. Like They can just pay people, hey, uh, move me here now, I'm going to buy a new house. And that's what they do. So what happens is you have the middle class who can't, who are so set in there with, like, like for us, we're, we're strongly like lower to middle and middle class. This is probably a good way to, oh, it felt so good. 
So we're, we're in this middle class system, and I can tell you, we are anchored by debt. I want to pay my debt because I was foolish enough to make these decisions when I was younger. Nobody's fault but my own. So I'm going to own up to that and pay my debt. I think it's it's good that you should pay your debt. You're getting out of it, if you see any of these, uh, um, these things on Facebook that say, get rid of your debt here for free, don't pay back your student, They're just, that's a bunch of hogwash. If, if, the, if this country does not pay back its student loan debt, and I, you, can, you should be able to understand this, this country will be destroyed. <laughs> like, the, the wealth will dry up. There's so much money in this student loan debt, and so many kids, and I was a kid at one point and suffered from this, suffer from this malady. Which I'm going to teach, and the best thing you can do is teach the next generation not to do this. So many kids suffer from this. That it's it's ridiculous, and it would just tank our economy if it doesn't. Just like the housing crisis, we just for some reason got to a point in America where we're like, let's make it legal for uh, people who can't, who maybe don't even have a job. It's not that bad. But don't have a reliable set of income to uh, have a ho any kind of house they want. Again, that's be that's that's taking it to the opposite extreme. But I, that all to say, I, I don't have the money to move. Not right now. I want to get to that point, but honestly, I love my house. I like the area I'm in. But if uh, if I start making a million dollars a year, or my my entire and it's not just how much you make, the whole thing's assessed on your value. So if you have a sixty million dollar company, but you yourself are only making a hundred thousand dollars a year out of that company because your net worth assets, I know we're talking about economics in America, so bear with me. If your whole network assets are $60 million and you only make hundred grand a year because your company is suffering whatever, you have to pay 2% on your total assessed wealth. So in France, from what I believe, this, this costs the country $180 mil billion? They're not, I forget it's billion or million, so forgive me. We'll just say it's million. No, I think it's billion. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Uh, $180 billion a year so that they can get... Up. So they can get like 48 billion a year. Like the math just straight up does not add up. We just want our shield because we don't. Our ASI is not that high. ASI is not that high. I, dude, I can invent presidential slogans. Mike, stun them. Good boy. <laughs> Taking away in the world today is something. No, no, no. Getting tired of being on fire. <laughs> Eventually, a man's had enough. There, I feel better. With we got through the American ran and rave on the, uh, what, they, what do they call them? Socialistic Democrats? Guess what Stalin was? <laughs> Put socialists on anything. What are you? You're, well, you're a socialist. Doesn't matter if you're a socialist Democrat or socialist infant. I don't know. Socialism is what it is. It's ironic in our pol political system that most most uh, Democrats who identify as it are moderate Democrats. But the presidential candidates are just freaking ridiculous. Like, they have to, for some reason... We'll be okay. Hey, where'd you come from, buddy? For some reason, they gotta just go absolutely crazy. Oh, oh my goodness. Don't be on fire. Oh yeah, let's, let's pop some pills, yo. This one right there. Like, why you gotta be crazy? Why you gotta say, yes, we can kill a infant up to, like, the last day before birth. Yes, it's okay to, uh, you know, snap their neck if they're born alive. Like, what on earth is wrong with you? So this is where the, uh, you get to the, uh, the problem of a legit question or not, or not since our, in our culture, you know, choices. I, I'm getting heavy into theology here. So what... Just to give you an idea. Let's, we'll get back to the conversation. What I do with myself here is I uh, I do this. I do my studies. I come do my commentary, and then I go to work. Like literally, my job, my my eight hour a day job, well, eight to ten, whatever. And I talk with people about this stuff all the time and ask them for their input. Um. So, the and often it's it's bad questions because the concept is your choice should be elevated above all else. You should have choice. Choice is extremely important. If you do not have choice, well then who are you? 
And this uh, this goes back to the Garden of Eden, if you want to take the allegor allegorical sense of the story. The Garden of Eden basically says, uh, you know, man was not didn't used to be like this. Um, if you get the knowledge of good and evil, you will become like God. And that that's that's the uh, the biggest question. Wow, we're already at the midway point. These guys are insanely furious and chemistry. I, I'm not a fan of your... Do you have a tongue? Oh, no, it's a pet. I thought he had, like, a pink tongue sticking out of his mouth over here. It's kind of weird. The whole, the whole concept is, like, be your own god. You are, like, how dare some kind of extra-dimensional being, you know, a singularity, tell you what to do with your life? What is... What is you you are in charge of your own life, and that's that's the whole thing of the Garden of Eden. You will become like God, knowing good and evil, and knowing is a thorough understanding, which means you can not only can you know it, you can redefine what it is, and you can uh, have your say in what is good and evil for you. The whole concept of relativism started in the Book of Genesis. All right, let's see the the whole contradiction of it's a uh, you know true for you, not for me. Was that true for everybody? I mean, that's you can't escape the absolute truths of the whole thing. So then you, you use a absolute statement to define relativity. It's a contradiction in terms. You can't escape. Well, we're kind of a mixture of both, right? We're human beings, but if you look at one human than another human, we're not identical clones. Anyway, I think we're going to stop there before it go too deep off the wall. I try to you know, hang out in a clockworks for a minute. The uh, The terminal. It's been a while since I did a tour of the uh, the shadow layers, but that's the whole. Uh, and we, we're heavily in, in uh, infested by the whole. It's uh, what I'm looking for. Enlightenment concept too. We could probably do like. Yeah. I feel strong. <laughs> Whereas uh, materialism is all there is, when uh, just from a martial arts, you know, not chakra, that's what I'm looking for. Energy's perspective, pressure points and all that. There's something that's a little unseen, unprovable, that just kind of flows with how things are made anyway. Once again, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, click like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. Here we go. Take care.